What is up guys, I'm back with another video and Google I.O. happened a few days ago and among other new releases, one of the main ones everyone were excited for was Android M. So they released Android M and went on for a while about all this new functionality and features and changes. So what's new in Android M? Let's find out. So before actually diving into the changes, you should take into consideration that this isn't a huge overhaul like Lollipop was to KitKat, but it's essentially more of a polished version of Lollipop with the necessary changes that were required to make the operating system closer to what they are envisioning it to be. So the lock screen is slightly changed with a more bold font on the clock, which I think looks nice and makes it a bit easier on the eyes as well, and one of the shortcuts at the bottom is now changed also. So instead of having the dialer open by swiping to the right, it's now replaced with Google Now. So depending on whether you use the dialer or Google Now more, this can be either a good or bad thing. However, this is just the developer preview, so keep in mind that with the final product, there will be changes to what we see now. So there's now also a new default wallpaper as well, which isn't something huge, but it's still something to notice. So where things get a bit meh for me with Android M is the new launcher's app draw. The launcher itself and the functionality is basically the same more or less, but the new app draw is a vertical alphabetical list of applications and it looks a bit untidy to me. The four icons at the top are the most recently used icons, at least that's what I found in my experience. And that's nice to have there, but I really hope with the final release, there's the option to switch between this layout and the usual horizontal scrolling card layout. So of course, if it doesn't turn out to be this way, you can simply install something like Nova Launcher and you'll be good to go. So I'm generally someone who likes to flash a lot of custom ROMs, and one of my most loved feature was being able to have both a light and dark theme throughout the entire operating system. So with Android M, if you enable developer options, there's actually a toggle in there, which enables a dark theme. However, I haven't noticed anything else change to a dark version except for the settings app. But again, this is just a developer preview. So hopefully with the final release of Android M, we'll see a better implementation of a dark theme throughout the entire operating system. Probably one of my favorite changes with M is the new volume controls. So as useful as Lollipop's volume controls were, they were a bit less functional than I'd like and they weren't extremely simple. So with M, the new volume controls are stupidly simple. You can just use the volume buttons to go all the way to the max as well as straight down to vibrate mode and then once again to activate do not disturb. In addition, you can hit the downward facing arrow on the right to expand the toggles. This gives you the option of changing all the volumes whether it be system, notifications or even alarms right there. And as you can probably notice, a subtle change in the color of the volume bar shows you which toggle is currently selected and then you can use your fingers to drag that toggle up and down or just simply use the volume buttons as well. Another welcome change is the better implementation of app permissions. So if you all remember the huge deal everyone made about Facebook's messenger app permission requirements, this basically solves those problems. You now have the ability to turn off and on specific app permissions and you basically have full control over which application can use whichever permissions they would like to use on your device. And finally, my absolute favorite of all is Google Now on top. This is definite proof that technology is reaching a whole new level. And what this does is basically, let's say you're talking to someone and they ask you to go watch a movie. If you just simply hold the home button, Google now will automatically read what's on your screen and give you the necessary information concerning that movie, such as maybe the actors, reviews, and even information like the local cinema times. And it isn't just movies, but basically anything you can think about. So this really impressed me, but it wasn't available on the developer preview. So we probably have to wait on the official release to get some hands on time with that new feature. Along with these are also a lot of under the hood improvements such as those, which almost doubles your device's standby time, USB-C support, security improvements and much more. I for one am extremely excited for Android M, and if you are let me know what you're most looking forward to in the comments below. So that's been it for this video, if you enjoyed it feel free to give it a thumbs up below, and thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. So after using some of the usual text smash magic to get it open here, this is what the LG G4 looks like. You can probably notice what I'm talking about now with the resemblance to the OnePlus.